Thank you again to all of our viewers who are here with us on Live Now from Fox. What we're going to do is help give a little bit of background uh, to what they are doing. Again, they had found a second time capsule 11 days after finding one, uh, a different one. It was an unknown time capsule that had been discovered. They are going to be cutting this box live right here, and uh, we are going to be watching it. What I'm going to do, though, while we're watching this take place is uh, play out a package giving a little bit of information about where this was found as well as some information on the other time capsule that had also been found at this time. Once the decision was made to remove the statue of Robert E. Lee, there was a lot of speculation about whether or not a time capsule would be found. In September, there was an effort made to locate the time capsule, and that was unsuccessful. Subsequently, Governor Northam made the decision to remove the stone pedestal, which is a massive structure. It had been brought down to ground level by midweek last week, Friday, uh, a week ago. Uh, a time capsule was found. The time capsule they opened today is slightly different than the one historians believe was inside the pedestal that used to hold the Robert E. Lee statue. Was there ever another time capsule? If there was, was it at some point removed? I don't think that there is anywhere left for us to look. It was decided over the last several days to investigate below grade level. And they started to do that this morning, and in no time they identified uh, what we now believe to be the time capsule that was described as having been installed in the pedestal. We are planning to open it tomorrow. This one was a challenge to locate. Uh, it wasn't where we expected. It, it's so validating. Uh, we are a group of really passionate professionals. I have the most amazing staff. And to see other people get excited about it um, really warms my heart and um, validates the work that we do every day. All right, so once again, that was uh, just some background information. Let's go ahead, listen into more of what's being said here. I'm Leslie Straub. I'm the collections manager for the Department of Historic Resources. And what you don't see is behind the scenes, we have several people who work at local museums helping, and they just are, um, we just needed more room. So they're in the back, um, and we, honest to God, just needed you guys to not hassle people while we're trying to do stuff. So you can hassle me, that's great, but back there we'll be dealing with artifacts. Okay. Um, I need my lamps. Yeah, I do. We might need to pull it out just a little bit. Hold it So they are clamping down this box, making sure that they have a steady hand when they are going to be opening up this time capsule. They do believe, again, it's from 1887. And uh, we just heard that uh, Cruz had uh, just wrapped up removal of a giant pedestal that once held the statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee in Richmond. They found to appear this now second, long sought after uh, time capsule. And as we heard them speaking to us before, they had opened already three sides of the box, but we're waiting to do the fourth side live right here for all of the news crews. And we are right here in it for you on Live Now from Fox. This is something that we do. You don't just see a little bit of video highlights. We really take you into these moments and watch things live unfolding here before us. And uh, this is going to be a very big deal for all of these uh, historians to see what may have been put inside. Again, back in 1887, you think about what was important to them. What did they believe uh, should be uh, something that captured their lives back in those moments, those days. So we are going to be uh, bringing Bringing this to you right here as we continue to watch this live run unfiltered here on Live Now from Fox. Thank you. 
these. When you know it. Okay, one more quick. No, just kidding. Thank you. Uh, it was just a real quick yep. yeah. Thank you. Watch out for that. Okay. Okay, you want to clear this off. And just think about all the things that they have to do to be very uh, careful with this old piece of equipment. Uh, they also want to make sure that they're keeping everything intact as w best as possible as they try to see what may be inside. Okay, what do we got? Well, the rock is going to be... I think that's the rock. Okay, that's... Coins wrapped in paper. Um, that's a that's a mini ball. I gotta change my glove. These uh, metals have to go back really quickly. Um, for anyone who was here last time, any of the metals, the metal coin from last time started to tarnish within a minute. It was bright silver and then it turned gray. So we're just getting these back into silica gel as quickly as possible. Huh? Are there more? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just start pulling. Yeah. Okay. If you can get any of the coins and stuff, just start pulling them out. Uh, is it this? I don't know what this is. So some of the stuff we sort of understand. We know there were some mini balls in here. There does appear to be the piece of wood that had the bullet stuck in it um, right here on top. Um, do you want me to take care of the wood? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, actually, I can do the wood, and you can yeah, take fair. the coins. So we'll switch. Spots. Yep. Okay. So we're pulling out the metals first because they're on top. Everybody. Um. Here's one of the buttons. It has, it looks like the Virginia seal actually on it. Um, we saw on the video. And you can see just how many people it does take to uh, go through all of these items. Of course, they want to get everything documented as best as possible. And uh, once they officially opened up that box, uh, it's just being exposed to that air once again. So it, it could always change the condition of some of these items. I'll do what I can to answer. If I don't answer you, it's because I'm not paying attention. And that's how the world rolls. Okay. Is the butt? Oh, that the butt? That the button. Yeah. Here, I'm just going to show them this one here. I don't know if you guys can see. We've got the mini balls here. Oh, okay. So she's just uncovering some mini balls. We have a button here. Uh, this feels a little. Is that a military button? Uh, I can't quite tell. It says. I can't quite tell, honestly. Now, it had been a months long search for this time capsule. And uh, again, they did not know the exact location, uh, but they did say that they had uh, found some news accounts indicating that it was placed uh, during a cornerstone laying ceremony in 1887 which was attended by thousands of people. News accounts described its dozens of donated artifacts, including Confederate memorabilia. Now, based on historical records, some have also speculated the capsule might uh, contain a rare photo of the deceased President Abraham Lincoln. So let's continue to watch what is pulled out of this box. 
I can definitely tell that there's moisture that came from the condensation on the top of the lid. Um, it's not too bad. It's not soup, so we're okay with that. So just so that you guys can see, there was supposed to be an inscription on this box. I am not seeing that. You can see how wet it is on the inside from condensation, though. If we find an inscription, we'll send you guys a picture. But right now, I'm just not seeing that. Hey, Kate, what does it say on that book right there? Uh... Which book? There's like four or five this? thousand books yeah. in there right now. Yeah. Which book? It's hard to read it upside down, but <laughs> um, I see something Island. Bird Island, Patent Family Flower. Huh. <laughs> Constitution uh, and Bylaws of Lee Camp Program. Yep. Yes, that's our first one there. Um, that was on the inventory. I'm just trying to figure out which ones to take out first. Um, Sorry, let me know when you need help. That's just to get the orientation of what's in there. It is very tightly packed, yeah. So once again, we are watching them live take out all of these old artifacts dating back to the 1887. So we will be continuing to watch this right here on Live Now from Fox. Some of you, though, are going to be stepping away for a two-minute break. We'll continue to keep you updated as you return on what has been pulled out of the box. Mosby? like we got some individual letters. So if we can just keep this pathway clear, that would be great. No jumping. You terrify me when you jump. Who's jumping? There's someone behind you. Okay. 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 Your, your show. Who is the young man standing there? I'm Everett Mercer. Pardon? Everett Mercer. Everett Mercer? Where are you from, Everett? Ashland. Ashland, okay. How did you, how did you manage to uh, get on this? My, um, my, dad, my dad is Clark Mercer. Which, uh, Harper's Weekly, Harper's Weekly, 1865, April 29th, Harper's Weekly, 1865, page 263. Okay. Is that dry? No. This is definitely not dry, unfortunately. But it's also not soup, so there's that, I guess. Yeah. So you can read right. Yes, we can read it. You can see. Wow. I cannot lift this up. On the tray? Um, you want me to go uh, get a piece of. I'll, 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 I need to just put it out on the. Table. Yeah, go. On the table. Yeah, go do what you need to do. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to say, it looks like a picture of Lincoln. It said Lincoln on it, so this may be not at all what everyone was hoping for. This, this here <laughs> looks like it was a way to mend uh, the tears in the middle. Someone mended it. Did you hear that? Uh -huh. So it looks like when they put this in, it was already torn, and they have actually have a mend on there because this had been folded already many times. And so it looks like a figure grieving over the grave of Lincoln. Um, it's, a, it's a printed image. A printed image from Harper's Weekly, 260, pages 264 and 265. It's like a centerfold picture. Okay, and then I'm getting out of your way, Sue, so you can get this out of here. Uh, can you take a look at this and see yeah. if you can tell me what's going on? 
So once again, to all of our viewers who are here with us on Live Now from Fox, thanks so much as we continue to uh, give you these live pictures. Uh, this is a time capsule from 1887. Uh, different pieces of memorabilia had been put inside, and it's been discovered earlier here this month. Not only one time capsule, but two time capsules. So one of them was documented. It was uh, placed in a cornerstone laying ceremony. Let's again listen into what's being said about these items. Then. So um, we wanted to make sure it actually wasn't live before anybody came into the lab. So I think that is what we have here. That was what? I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, there was supposed to be a fragment of a shell from a battle in Fredericksburg. Oh, I think we got money. So I'm making the decision not to, this looks like Confederate money um, in an envelope. Um, I'm making the decision not to um, separate it all right now because as a stack, it retains more moisture and I'll have more time later to separate the individual uh, notes. So I'm going to leave that as it is right now. Um, there's some goo, there's some goo on the envelope so I can't really read what that says. Sorry. There's looks like there's Confederate notes in here. Okay, they were supposed to be yep. some of those, yes. So you're leaving that as a... I'm leaving that right yep. now. I will separate it later. Perfect. Um, 12 copper coins. Oh, there was a um, supposed to be a bundle of coins. 12 copper coins, Tule Monument from Charles Howard, maybe? Or Har Harwood? Um, I think it's in pretty good shape considering what we normally get with these. Um, I'm just going to hold this up real quick. Um, I think it's in better shape than we had expected. We thought everything was going to be soup, and it's not soup, so we're pretty, it's pretty great. What about the, uh, I keep going back to that picture, how's that, how's that, how's that work? That's a Sioux question. Uh, it's an old newspaper from 1865 that's already had some wear and tear before it got put into the box itself. So I would say considering it looks like it's in pretty good shape considering that kind of wear and tear before it even got put in the box. All right. This, it's like... Um, so, yeah, I think I think looks sometimes can be deceiving here, and so it's so packed, and the um, the boards of the books have splayed. So um, I'm going to have to really work with Kate to figure out what's going to come out first, so we can release others. Yeah, sorry, I'm going to. And it might. Uh, Donovan. Might need to. Yeah, if I pull the book a little closer to you. Yeah, that does look like there we were expecting a Bible and it does look like maybe we have a Bible. Okay. Um, um just sort of like No no, you yeah. take your time. Okay. It's just really cram packed. Um, next time capsule, maybe not so much stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting the time machine together, right? You tell them. <laughs> like one one less book. Is there a bottle in there? Uh, a Bible. Is there a bottle? I do not see a bottle. I call dips. <laughs> Just, I have, well, so I have a metal. Well, that's not going to get in there. Um, oh, it's just it's like, real stuff. So do we just start from over here? I oh would, my gosh, except right. it's, yeah. It's like so stuck. Yeah. It might um, even like, if I try the Bible, then it's... Yeah.
Thank you again to all of our viewers watching here with us on Live Now from Fox. It has certainly been exciting to see what so far has been pulled out of this time capsule dating back to 1887. We've even seen uh, a newspaper that they believe had a centerfold picture of Abraham Lincoln from back in the 1860s. So uh, they are trying to work out different ways that they can safely uh, get some of these other articles, uh, artifacts out of this uh, time capsule, especially when, of course, you think about the condition they're in, how long they've been in there. Uh, they just are very, uh, need some very gentle handling and they want to make sure to document everything as best as possible. So uh, this will take a bit more time.